What is going on everybody, for 13 here, so uh, today we're coming back with another movie vlog and um, I'm doing a little sit down movie vlog for this because like I said I have my hat off and whenever I have my hat off I'm lazy and I'm doing nothing. So that's pretty much why I'm sitting down for this one. We have three movies to talk about and like I said there's a lot of movies that I want to watch that I'd rather do a movie vlog for but I just need to keep pumping videos out for the channel. So yeah like I said I have three movies to talk about and the first one I'm going to talk about is um, one of these I own, two of them I don't own that I watched over Hulu. So the first one is Seven, uh, starring Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, directed by David Fincher. And I gotta say, first like, first thing I'm gonna say about Seven is I loved it way more than I thought I would. Just this movie is so dark and disgusting, and basically it's a story of Brad Pitt gets assigned with Morgan Freeman, and Morgan Freeman's been a cop and a detective for um, years and years and years, and he's about to retire, but he just needs to figure out this last serial killer he needs to find he needs to find him and Kevin Spacey is the serial killer and he's using the seven deadly sins as you know to mess with these detectives and you know I just gotta say some of the things that Kevin Spacey would do to his victims are absolutely disgusting I was eating midway through watching this movie and there was just parts to where I just wanted to stop eating because it was so disgusting like there's this part where they're interrogating this victim of Kevin Spacey that survived and basically, Kevin Spacey made this contraption where he tied this knife around his dick and um, made him have sex with another girl. And it's just, they show pictures, and oh my god, it is so disgusting. Like I said, I was eating, and I just wanted to stop eating. And yeah, Seven's a great crime drama, if you guys have never seen it. Um, great performances by both actors in this movie. And um, like I said, the twist ending, you know pretty sure everybody knows it by now. I knew it before I watched the movie, but it didn't take away anything from the movie. Um, like I said, I loved it way more than I thought I would. I honestly don't think that I can describe how much more I liked this movie because it's just, it's a great movie. I loved it. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Now, the next movie I'm going to talk about is called Ocean's Eleven. It stars like Matt Damon, George Clooney, and Brad Pitt, and Bernie Mac, and some other people. Basically, it's about George Clooney who just gets out of prison, you know. His wife had left him before he got out of prison. He robbed, he like robbed a gas station, then went to prison for it. He's been in prison for like three years. And she's with this girl, she's with this, I mean, she's with this guy named uh, Terry something, Terry Benedict, I think his name is, in the movie. And, you know, he runs this big casino, and George Clooney is putting together a heist. And he wants to rob the Bellagio, the MG Grand, and I don't remember the... The, uh, name of the third casino but um basically George Clooney is a really smart dude in this movie so, you know so he wants to rob this casino so he needs to go to Brad Pitt and you know Brad Pitt needs to get the other people and everything and what I really like about this movie is that they incorporate comedy into it so it's like really funny and what's well, not really funny it's like funny at parts and I really like that about this movie and it's directed very well I think it's, you know, I think this probably is really underrated for, like, the way it was directed. I know there's two sequels. There's Ocean's 12 and Ocean's 13. I haven't heard too much about them. I don't know if they're good or bad. Excuse me, but I will watch them um, soon enough, I guess. Um, but Ocean's 11 is a pretty good heist movie. You know, this isn't a movie. This isn't like Point Break to where, like, people are shooting and dying. You know, this is just George Clooney being really smart in the movie and pulling off this really cool heist and messing with Terry Benedict in the movie. And I definitely think it's a good heist movie if you guys have never seen it. And uh, yeah, I definitely would recommend it. And um, the next movie I'm going to talk about is the final movie that I just watched today. It's called The Big Lebowski, directed by the Coen brothers. And um, it stars Jeff Bridges, John Goodman, Steve Buscemi, and a bunch of other people. And basically it tells the story of the dude played by uh, Jeff Bridges' real name, Jeffrey, but um, he gets mistaken, his last name's Lebowski, and he gets mistaken for another Lebowski that's like this big government, you know, not president, but big government, big dude, you know, that's in like, he's like with the government, you know, he's really good at what he does and everything, and he's like disabled, and he gets mistaken for Lebowski, and basically he kidnapped his wife, and the dude goes to the guy, and he's like, because they broke into his house, and they peed on his rug, and um, he's really upset about that, so he wants to, like, you know, get revenge on them or whatever, and he's like, okay, they kidnapped my wife, I'll give you this, I'll give you all of this money, and then you'll do the drop-off, and they figure out that, like, it's, it's a lot to explain, but they figure out the wife was never kidnapped in the first place, and they've been playing him along because the dude is so stupid that he just, he's obviously not going to, you know, think too much about it. 
Jeff Bridges gives a funny, phenomenal performance as the dude in this movie. This movie's funny, it's hilarious. Um, uh, John Goodman's performance is absolutely hilarious, how he's always talking about how he was a Marine in Vietnam and everything's about Vietnam. Uh, Steve Buscemi's funny because like every time he's about to say something, John Goodman is all like, shut up, Donnie. And it's, it's really funny, but I definitely recommend this movie if you guys haven't seen it. I think that this is probably, I haven't seen many Coen Brothers movies, but I think this is probably the best one I've seen so far. Um, but I don't know, True Grit was a little bit better, but I like, I like The Big Lebowski. I definitely would recommend it. But uh, yeah, guys, like I said, there was a lot of other movies that I would rather have talked about and, you know, wanted to watch more than the movies I talked about today. Although Seven was really good and I really wanted to talk about that. But um, yeah, if you guys have seen all these movies that I talked about, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And uh, please like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. As far as movie reviews go, there's not really a movie that I want to see that's coming out. I mean, I have to look, but the one that I remember is Holmes and Watson which I really want to see. It has Will Ferrell and John C. Riley, and I'm a really huge fan of those guys. I love Step Brothers. It's one of my favorite comedies. It's probably like my second favorite or third favorite comedy. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But other than that, I'll have to look to see what's coming out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, see you guys in the next video.